Police and federal agents have been looking into the past of 25-year-old Micah Xavier Johnson, who was from the Dallas suburb of Mesquite. KXA investigator Kevin Schwaller looked into the background of the man police say carried out a well-planned attack. Dallas police say Micah Johnson had a journal of combat tactics. He had bomb-making materials, ammo, and body armor at his home outside Dallas in Mesquite, Texas. This was a mobile shooter that had uh, written manifestos on how to shoot and move. Police say the shooter was an Army veteran, and people they've interviewed call Johnson a loner. He said he was upset about the recent police shootings. The suspect said he was upset at white people. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. Dallas police say Johnson told them he acted on his own in the shooting, not with any group. He appears to have been a fan of black separatist groups tracked by the Southern Poverty Law Center as hate groups. It notes that Johnson's Facebook page showed likes for the new Black Panther Party, the Nation of Islam, and the Black Writers Liberation Party. I think the facts are still out on whether the shooter last night had an explicit membership in any of these organizations. Last night's killer does not represent all those who seek to bring about change. Although police are calling Johnson the only shooter, they continue to examine whether anyone else knew or helped with the deadly plan. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigate. The Department of Defense says Micah Johnson's service dated from March 2009 through April 2015. The private first class's specialty was carpentry and masonry. He served in the Army Reserve and served two tours in Afghanistan starting November of 2013.